hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and for clicking on this video today we're going to be seeing what is going to be in love for you for the rest of 2019 so we have group one with the aura quartz group two with the orange calcite group three with the opalite and group four with the aragonite so feel free to take a deep breath and choose group one, two, three, or four, and let's get started and see what's coming for you in your love life for the rest of 2019. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, thank you so much for being here. So today you chose the uh, Aura Quartz, the, I love this, this is such a gorgeous crystal, it's so, so pretty, one of my favorites. So let's see what's going on for the rest of 2019 for your love life. On the Moonology deck, we have communication is key, okay? In the tarot, we have the Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. We have Balance, Boundaries, Peace of Mind, Self Reliance, and Attraction. Put that there. I actually read that Self Reconciliation, I'm not sure what that's about. I think it might just be you reconciling with yourself possibly you're coming into your own right so the overall energy is communication is key which is absolutely amazing so if you're waiting on somebody i can see you coming into communication with them if you really really want to be with them if, it, if you feel like it's generally going to be a balanced relationship then definitely i can see you having your boundaries very very strongly which is really really good i feel like since you have been single, your boundaries have been extremely strong, which is amazing. And you're a very, very attractive person. A lot of people can see a lot of attractiveness in you. So what's coming in your love life is somebody is coming forward with quite a balanced offer, actually, with a lot of love and quite a lot of money. So somebody who could be coming forward with a lot of money, they could be very businessy. So they basically kind of know their shit with money. And... Just to let you know that I feel like self-reliance and boundaries is extremely accurate to, go, to be together. It basically means that you are focusing more on yourself and you're thinking, actually, do you know what? I'd rather be on my own than be with somebody who doesn't give a shit about me or doesn't care about me. Sorry about my swearing. It did. I'm very feeling very passionate today. So it's because I'm doing a love reading. Um, so yeah, communication is key. I feel like you really need to communicate how you actually feel. Someone is definitely coming through with communication. I feel like they're... Oh, you're going to come forward with communication or they are and you're going to have a really good conversation that's balanced and your boundaries are going to be very set it's almost like if you can't give me what i want then time to move on but i feel like they will give you what they want what you want sorry so i feel like you actually have quite a few options or there could just be generally quite a few people around you who are interested in you um if not it may just mean that you are kind of figuring out who you want to be with or what sort of type of person you want and you're figuring out what sort of like how how important certain aspects are between you and somebody else okay so you're definitely going towards something that's very balanced both you and this uh, person you have someone coming forward who is possibly an air sign yeah or a fire sign um we also have yeah we have gemini here as well um i'm going to pull from the zodiac deck and see if there's any um certain zodiacs that are coming through obviously this may not resonate for everybody but we're just going to see what's coming through because i see someone coming through here and i also see because you've actually worked on yourself you become more calmer not saying you weren't calm before but i feel like you're more at ease with being single but you also want somebody but you're also at ease which is a very good balance it's really really good so i love that that's really really nice so what zodiac is coming through for group number one please who is this person that they are connecting with or can be connecting with in the future Aquarius, so an air sign, lovely. I'm definitely feeling Gemini here. That's because we've got Gemini there and with the uh, new moon. Sagittarius, Leo. Can you pull out one more? I'm definitely feeling water signs here as well. Okay, we have Virgo and Aries. And underneath we have Scorpio. So quite a few different ones. Obviously, if the person isn't here that you are thinking about then it doesn't have to matter it can just be that they could be attracting this energy they could just be feeling this energy sort of thing also for group number one um this is basically the overall energy uh conclusions are within reach that's for every single group so that's good 
so that was a nice quick reading for you guys i really hope you like this video if you want to see more of my videos then please subscribe to my channel the button is down below i appreciate it so 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 much i love you guys so much thank you for all your support if you would like a private reading with me all the information is down below and on the screen here and if it didn't resonate just let it fly um or pick another group and i'll see you very soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here and for clicking on this video let's see what you have for your um what is coming through for you in your single life in 2019 this is the orange cow site you may have chosen this because you need to work on your solar plexus or you're working on being more confident um managing anxiety things like that okay so this is the overall energy for each group we have conclusions are within reach so just to let you know that you will kind of have a conclusion overall um at the end of 2019 okay whether that be a new partner or it can just be some sort of conclusion where you just kind of almost get closure okay so i'm just going to put that over there so let's see what we have for the rest of 2019 so the overall energy is meditate and contemplate uh new moon in pisces for the tarot we have the nine of swords knight of wands justice and the seven of swords we also have rebirth oh lovely awakening your true self that's so nice release your ex love yourself first and reconciliation so all of these are really interesting energies i'm getting like half of you are probably going to be single for the rest of 2019 and half of you are going to be with somebody <laughs> okay that's interesting okay actually no i'm not i'm laughing because i think that's just a very confusing energy um but i'm actually getting something quite clearly now so basically what i'm hearing is that with some of you um if you've already gone for a rebirth and you're kind of satisfied with how much work you've done on yourself and pretty much um you probably will find somebody who you really really like uh someone will come forward with some sort of commitment but you need to start resolve all your uh energy first that's to do with any negative energy or any past energy needs to be resolved first and you need to contemplate and meditate on this energy okay okay guys so i just had a nail polish break because i <laughs> i couldn't stand seeing my horrible nails so i just done my nails just to let you know my nails look different okay so anyway Yes, you're going through a rebirth and you're awakening your true self. And at the moment, you are definitely meditating and contemplating on this certain situation where you're kind of like figuring out, okay, what do what is it that I want? And you're almost sorting yourself out before you can get to this person, okay? So you are releasing an ex. You could be releasing somebody you don't want in your life. You could also be releasing toxic people who just are bringing you down, whether it's being romantic or just in general anyway. So there is some quite heavy energy with these two cards, but I don't feel like it's going to be hanging around for too long because I feel like someone's going to come towards you or you're going to come towards them for an emotional committed offer. Um, just keep working on yourself, keep loving yourself, um, do things that really help you to feel good, to make you feel happy. And with reconciliation, this can be with somebody who you actually can be, you already know them. So that could be that. Um, or it could just generally be someone from your past that you know who you want who you think kind of think actually do you know what i don't know anybody but there could be somebody who randomly pops up in your past who wants to come forward but anyway also if you are looking for some sort of connection with a certain person who you're waiting on this could be them and if they are pisces that's a definite clarification that you that they are coming going to come forward you're going to reconcile with them possibly in, in the next new moon as well okay and they're also meditating and contemplating on what they want also so you're basically mirroring each other and yeah i can see someone coming forward for you um just make sure to work on yourself and don't worry too much about this situation like it will sort itself out um and yeah and also just have fun in the meantime if you want to just have some flings and stuff like that then that's good but also i definitely do i do see love coming here first um it is coming and also a commitment a balanced commitment is definitely on the cards here literally and metaphorically and spiritually <laughs> okay so i really hope that helped number two thank you so much for being here i appreciate you so so much also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel then uh the button is down below also if you would like to uh, get a private read with me the information is on the screen here and it's also down below if it didn't resonate just let it fly or pick another group um a comment down below if it did resonate i'll speak to you very soon Hi guys hello group number three thank you so much for being here so the overall energy for all four groups our conclusions are within reach just to let you guys know uh that you will get a conclusion of some sort by the end of 2019 okay so we have the opalite so if you chose the opalite let's see what you guys have coming forward towards you so we have it's time to take action 
Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Lovely. Release. Kindness. This is very wonky. I do apologise. Pay attention to red flags. Finances and career. Very soon. And this could be the one. Okay. So also why you might have chosen the Opalite is you're expecting a very happy turnaround. You're happy. You're wanting to be more positive or you're focusing on positivity and you're wanting to bring in a spiritual connection and you're working on your spirituality also okay so that's what i got from the opalite and that is generally what opalite is for is for spirituality and bringing in just general love energy okay um it's also a very light energy so i feel like what you this is what is going to be brought in for you also so with time to take action, this card can actually mean that there is a new person coming in. So that could be what that means also. So if you are expecting someone to come in or you want a new person, obviously that could be why you're watching this reading, then that is definitely on the cards for you. And they're coming in very soon and they could be someone who's really, really attractive and they could be someone who you really, really want to be with, okay? They could be somebody who they might take a little bit of time to come forward because they're working on their finances and career. You could actually meet this person in work as well. Um, with this pay attention to the red flags, what's this? Okay, so they're actually quite cautious about coming forward towards you. So if you don't know who this is, then that's probably why, because they're kind of like, I don't know if I should. Um, but I also think this could can also be you. Both of you are, have, are mirroring the same energy. It's the energy of, I've been messed around a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm not sure if I want to go forward with this. But basically, just give yourself kindness. And you are going to find someone who is very kind and very loving towards you. And they are basically going to show you how much they love you. And it's not going to be an issue, okay? It's nothing to do with the past. Uh, this is going to be someone who is different from your past relationships, okay? If you're expecting someone new. So with release, this is essentially both of you. You and the person that you could potentially be with are both releasing a lot of old stuff. This is basically what I'm saying is you're not going to be with somebody who is the same as your past. Uh, I don't. I can see you reconcile with somebody if you're if they're different from what your your usual type. That's basically that. And you're going to be releasing a lot of negative um, thought patterns, a lot of past hurt, um, and a lot of programming that you've had from your um, parenting and childhood okay not parenting yeah parents and childhood um and you're going forward really really well okay so i have um working on your career you could just be working on your career right now um since you are single and you're thinking okay well might as well get that coin you know what i'm saying <laughs> but i feel like you could just generally be working on your money pretty well and kind of figuring out okay i'm gonna find something that i really love doing and i want to go towards that and I feel like you will actually find something that's very emotionally fulfilling uh, in love and in, uh, in the finances because we have you going towards um, a really beautiful relationship and we have the Ten of Cups here as well. So whenever I pull the Eight of Wands, I always want to see what else it's going towards because it's actually facing away from the Ten of Cups. But I feel like you're almost holding on to this, um, you're both, you and this person are holding on to your both, both your emotions and you're moving forward to a new relationship, okay? So I definitely see a new relationship coming forward to you by the end of 2019 and it's coming through very soon. So very soon is basically by the end of 2019. So we have the lovers. <laughs> Gorgeous. We also have the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Judgment, and friggin' the Emperor. Oh my Jesus Christ. The Emperor is right here with Aries. Holy crap, guys, that was amazing. Wow, I really need to pull those cards, obviously. So this is essentially meaning that you're going to be connected to somebody who is also a water sign. Somebody could be a fire sign. I'm feeling air sign as well. And also, yeah, fire sign and air. I don't really see um, earth sign. Probably earth sign, though, because we have coins here. But, um, yeah, so I'm seeing somebody who is very emotionally committed to you. They may take a little bit of time to come towards you, but very soon you will be aware of this person and also could be on on the way to being committed to them because we have judgment and that is basically the commitment card. Um, and we also have Ten of Cups, which is happy family. I love the fact that we have the Lovers, the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups all together. Like, that is absolutely amazing. This, this pairing, um, this triple pairing is absolutely gorgeous and I love it. As a double water sign, Scorpio and Cancerian moon, like, this is just beautiful, okay? So you guys have a really lovely reading. Um, just be kind to yourself and keep going, keep going, keep going. And um, conclusions are within reach, as the overall energy was showing us. So thank you so much for watching this reading. If this resonated with you, then please feel free to comment down below. 
um if it didn't resonate then let it fly and if you want to please choose another group if you feel more drawn towards another group and also i do private readings if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and on the screen here you can connect me through email or instagram and i also have all my prices and everything listed in the description box for you to choose which one you would like to purchase okay so thank you so much for being here i appreciate you all so 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 much feel free to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video so today we have the aragonite and you may have chosen this because you want to focus on your root chakra you want to get more grounded and you want to uh create more energy around you, you want to get more um enthusiastic about life uh, or you may need it to get more enthusiastic about life you may have been having a bit of down time and it may have just been a bit intense life may have just been a bit intense for you um, but Aragonite is here to show you that everything's going to be okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Everything's going to be okay. And the overall energy for all four groups is conclusions are within reach. Okay, that was what was underneath the deck. So let's see what you guys have for what's next for you in love in what is next for you in love in 2019 for the rest of 2019. What do you need to release? The energy is gaining momentum. Surrender to the divine. That's really nice. Love that. So from the tarot we have the king of pentacles, nine of wands, and the three of swords. We also have insight, knowledge, deep healing, and angels. We also have rise above problems. I'm just going to try and straighten that all out. Sorry guys, my camera is really wonky today. We have such really pretty colours here as well. Playfulness, make the effort, and you deserve love. So I feel like, yes, I actually feel like the Aragonite was right. <laughs> you guys have been having quite a stressful time, okay? You've been going for a lot of deep healing, and the angels are here to show you that it's going to be okay. And to just inject a bit of playfulness into your life, and to know that you are lovable, and you are loved, and there is going to be somebody coming towards you, okay? Um, you have quite a few problems that you have been dealing with. We have quite a lot of purple energy. So it's basically just a lot of karmic cycles that are starting to come to an end. And you're trying not to focus on any of the negativity. I feel like a lot of you have been single for quite a long time. Or you have been going through quite an intense time, okay? So what I'm feeling is, for you guys, I don't see somebody coming forward towards you yet. Because I still see you guys going through a transitional phase, okay? If you don't feel like this is accurate to you, then please pick another group or just let it fly but i definitely feel like for you guys you have recently broken up with somebody or you're still releasing old patterns or just toxic people who don't serve you anymore okay you basically with this rise above problems it's essentially what do you need to release is i feel like is what is coming forward okay but basically you have realized i feel like for a lot of you a lot of you have realized what you need to release and the energy is starting to gain momentum I feel like a lot of you have been feeling quite down about your love life and you need to surrender to what is going to be happening okay just know that this card right here is a sign that everything is going to be okay and what you are going to be needing in life is never going to pass you okay and I feel like I'm just talking to myself right now because literally like that is me all the time I'm like when is it going to happen what's going to happen when am I going to be in a relationship it's like no girl surrender Okay, as much as you don't want to, you need to, okay? Um, you could also be feeling the intensity of the recent full moon that's just happened because I feel like a lot of stuff is being lifted and it's bringing out all the crap, which is really, really good. I feel like you're going to get quite a lot of insight and knowledge from all of this deep healing that's going to go on. So I feel like that's actually going to be really good for you because you need to really focus on this and stop ignoring it. There's sometimes like an elephant in the room, they're telling me. So I feel like you're ignoring something really big that needs to be shifted. And as much as you don't want to shift it, you need to shift it okay because you don't you do deserve love and you need to make the effort towards yourself to go towards that okay and be playful if you feel like you actually don't want a relationship right now just go and have some flings or just do some dating talk to some new people that sort of thing okay i definitely feel like you guys are having trouble releasing something because of these two cards it's just like no i want this all to myself or it's basically like i've been hurt too many times what's the point in loving do you know what i mean so i just want to tell you guys that maybe you need to get out of this quite hard hitting Taurus energy it's almost like quite stubborn um obviously not all Tauruses are stubborn but it's that energy of like the bull as well so it could be a bit of Aries in there also um but that's the ram so basically just yes just an intense energy that's coming forward that is basically you're kind of avoiding you're avoiding the emotional part when actually 
it needs to be looked at okay so i want to pull out one more moonology card but just to let you know guys that conclusions are within reach and you are going to get you the results that you want you may not actually find someone this year but somebody is coming because i feel like a lot of you are still in the process of figuring out what you want and who you are and things like that you might not even want to be with somebody you might just want to be single but i definitely feel like a lot of you are definitely healing a lot of stuff okay so what is this what do you need to release what do i need to release please what does group number four need to release a new start is coming. It takes time to breathe out. Can we have one more card? What do you guys need to release? Okay. So we have prosperity lies ahead. We have work through your fears and luck is on your side. Okay. So basically this is saying that you will work through this. Um, the angels, as I say, are helping you. And luck is on your side. You, you This is basically supposed to happen. So you can actually start to move forward. Um, and as much as you don't want to do it, you need to do it, okay? So this Sagittarius um, full moon that's come past, I think it's actually pushed you to, to actually look at all these really nasty fears that you really don't want to look at. And it's basically made you want to look at them. And even though you don't really want to, it's like, actually, do you know what? If I'm going to move on, I have to look at my fears, you know what I'm saying? So take time to breathe out is definitely very, very prominent here. It's essentially this card where it's like what you need to release is that calm energy where you just need to think and be kind to yourself and know that it's all going to be okay because prosperity is here for you it's just like the universe is not giving you the gift yet because you need to figure out what's going on behind the scenes and if nothing's coming up um i recommend for you to get a certain crystal for a certain chakra that could be um going on so if you're having any possibly uh, physical symptoms or like uh, think patterns keep repeating then look for a certain crystal okay aragonite is probably good for you anyway because you've chosen this certain group so just look into that i highly suggest rose quartz and opalite for, for unconditional love also um amethyst if you wanting to work more on your crown chakra and working more with your guides to get more information okay so thank you so much for watching guys as i said if this didn't resonate then don't feel too bad like you might just need to pick another group or it could just need to stuff could just need to be worked through and that's okay energy is literally changing all the freaking time so this could be different like in the next few days you know what i mean but a new start is coming and you're on your way okay it is it is coming that song um on on is it on my way it's from the film matilda uh that's the song that's coming up well it goes on my way on my way <laughs> so that's coming up for you guys uh, so you're like packing your little books in your little friggin' trailer thing and you're moving on. <laughs> you're like, yes, let's go. Yep, you're going forward. You're going to you're gonna get a lot of prosperity, guys, and it's coming forward for you, okay? You possibly could be going, an earth sign could be coming towards you as well. Um, or you could just be working on your monies. Or um, you could be an earth sign. Um, or basically, you know an earth sign. An earth sign could be around you, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Um, I send you guys lots of love. As I said, if it doesn't resonate, then let it fly or choose another group. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would love that so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. It honestly means the absolute world. And I'm so grateful every single day for you guys. And I love that I can do this with you. And also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below and on the screen here. And give this video a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if it does resonate. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys. Ow, hurt my hand. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay guys, I was really silly and I forgot to do the zodiac signs for each of the groups. So I'm just going to do group one, two, three, and four now. Um, I think I already did group one, but I'm going to redo it again. So what zodiac sign is group one connecting with? Thank you. Okay, so those are the five zodiac signs that you are connected with group one. So thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, group two, let's see what zodiac signs you are connecting with. What zodiac signs is group two connecting with? Thank you. We have Leo. an awful shuffle but here we are <laughs> we have 
Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini and Scorpio. So thank you group number two and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, group number three. What zodiac sign are you connecting with? What zodiac sign is so uh, group three connecting with, please? Thank you very much. Thanks very much. We have Pisces. Gemini. Sagittarius. Scorpio, Aquarius and Cancerian, okay? So thank you for watching group three and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Okay, group number four. What zodiac sign are you guys connecting with? Okay, what zodiac sign is group four connecting with? Oh, thank you very much, Sagittarius. Okay, this one wants to come out. Pisces. Libra, Virgo and Aquarius and we also have Leo and Cancerians. Thank you for watching group four and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye!